Hi, my name is Steve Houston, and welcome to my channel. As you all know, on this channel, we talk about all things financial services related. This is where I discuss the products, the compensation plans, the IMOs. We compare the IMOs, and the standard is third-party documentation beats any conversation, including my rhetoric and my opinion. <laughs> and then way you can decide which best option is for you from an educational standpoint rather than all the different opinions on the interwebs, all right? So welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, uh, please go ahead and subscribe if you feel like this is a, a channel that you can get some real good content from and learn about the particularly the mortgage station and final expense industry. Uh, make sure you hit that bell. You smash that bell below the subscribe button that way you're gonna get instant notifications of any new videos or live streams uh, that we put up or that I put up myself and Angela who we also see on these videos does a great job uh, answering your questions about the underwriting process on this video we continue the series on mortgage station sales 101 is mortgage station sales for me and this is video number three I believe in that series as we continue it Here's the bottom line is there's a lot of things to figure out or to consider when you're getting ready to enter or considering entering in the mortgage station and final expense industry. And I'm trying to answer those, whether or not that's five or 10 or 15 videos that I might end up putting out to try to answer all the questions that I honestly get all week long. I get texts, I get emails, I get phone calls, and they're about the same questions all the time and so I'm going to take those one by one answer them in a series put them all in a playlist called selling mortgage session insurance and that way I hope to put that up right here uh, you can click on that and watch a series of videos and from there you can get at least an idea of whether or not this industry is for you or not so again if you haven't subscribed make sure you do that do me a favor like the video and make some comments below I always love to read your comments and, and find out whether or not you're getting some real value out of this content that I'm putting up here on the channel on this video I'm going to tackle the subject I think you had to know you had to know who you are and what it is we do now look you have a basic understanding of what mortgage protection insurance business is and it's time to really get down to the facts if you're new to the business you probably already encountered some resistance from prospective clients look here's the facts most people don't want to talk about life insurance it forces them to get into that mindset enter into that conversation that none of us are going to live forever we're all going out of this world in the same way we're going to end up dying right and so it's just that discomfort and the idea of discussing life insurance we have to kind of get them past that idea and more focused on the fact that we all know we're going to die and what are we going to leave behind for our families and our loved ones and that's really our goal and the role of an agent and quite often they may very well had a bad experience with some agent coming into their home and trying to sell them something they probably didn't need listen if you haven't already done this yet try selling life insurance to friends and family and you'll see exactly what I mean to put yourself in the best position to succeed you must do three things number one put the clients needs first number two believe in the product that you're selling and sold correctly look life insurance is a great product and most importantly number three is you got to believe in yourself all three of these came together for me when I processed my first death claim that was a real eye-opener which really solidified my belief in what I was selling and my belief in who I was and what my role is look knowing who you are and what's important to you is key to succeeding in sales ask yourself I find this a lot with agents are you just going through the motions day to day or are you really really passionate and confident in your abilities unfortunately this does take some time if you're brand new you got to be bad before you're good I talk about this all the time with my agents you got to cut yourself some slack look day one is not going to happen unless you've had an event or a situation with a loved one or family member which they passed away and it really had a toll on the family if that's you I believe you come into this business slightly ahead of some that has not had that devastating intimate personal experience I find there's two types of individuals one that are naturally confident in themselves or you're someone that doesn't have a lot of self-confidence and you need to start making life changing decisions get into some book reading so you can build the required amount of self-confidence needed to succeed in this business top producers really are unapologetically passionate about 
who they are, what they do, because they've changed the way they think about their business and they believe in the coverage that they are selling. Like I said, maybe that agent had a death claim happen to one of their policy holders and they were the ones that went out to that home, knocked on the door and had to deliver that check to that family. And, and they intimately realized that had they not been persistent and consistent in their business, reaching out to that prospect to turn them into a client, someone that owned life insurance, that family's future would be dramatically different than it is because they came, right? And I think you have to grasp that because sometimes we get pushed back on the phone, we get tired of getting yelled at or hung up on working leads, or even our own family keep getting pushed off. But once you have a death claim and you realize that that family's lives were saved because you kept at it. They don't know what they don't know. You do. You're an agent, right? So you know what the difference is with a family that has no life insurance and is left devastated, the loss of their home, the loss of college education. Their whole lives change not for the good, but for the worst. And because you were persistent and you understood that they didn't know what they didn't know and you kept calling and kept trying to make that appointment and you finally turned it from a prospect to a card carrying member of life insurance, that family changed. The ones that can naturally do this truly do have a leg up in the business. But honestly, I talk to hundreds, as I said, per week in this business. People that are considering coming in this business and the ones that have that passion and really understand what we do as agents, they are few and far between. Look, can we speed up the increase of your belief in what we do? Look, folks, we don't sell cars here. We're not selling vacuum cleaners. We're not selling roofing and we're not selling heat and air conditioning. What we do matters. And the answer is yes. If you don't have that personal experience in your life to where someone's lives were changed for the better because they had bought life insurance, or you don't have the other side of that, which is a negative effect of someone that didn't have any insurance, then you need to get your head around some stories of people that their lives were changed because they had life insurance. And you can speed up the increase of your belief. It happens also over time. But there are stories out there of people as their lives are changed. I recommend that you get in there, you understand, you read, you watch some videos, and truly get your head around what we do and what we do matter. That will help you speed up the increase of your belief and it will turn into sales. More importantly, you'll protect more families with life insurance. And that's what we do and that's what's important. Before you actually go out there and pick up that phone or go out in the field, you've got to have that elevator pitch down. You and I have to know exactly who we are and what we do. Well, who are we? Well, who are we? Gain selling confidence by changing how you tell people who you are and what you do. For example, this happens to us all. When you're sitting in a restaurant and someone asks you what it is you do, what do you tell them? Do you tell them, hey, I'm a life insurance agent? Boring, okay? That doesn't attract anybody. They kind of actually may run in the opposite direction. Or do you say that I'm a mortgage protection specialist? Again, that doesn't really say anything. Listen, I know this may sound cliche, but you must have an identity that you can believe in right? And that you are proud to tell people who you are. Clearly, you can see which one of these statements might be more appealing. If you don't, you're toast in that area because you're not going to attract anybody to what it is that you do. Now, what you need to do is memorize the what you do script. Does this one sound more attractive to you? I'm a mortgage protection specialist and I show people how to protect their greatest asset, their home. Think about that. Is that better than I'm a mortgage protection specialist? People don't know what that is. Is that better than saying I'm a life insurance salesman? Absolutely. So again, I am a mortgage protection specialist and I show people how to protect their greatest asset, their home. As I mentioned earlier, now everybody thinks life insurance agents walk on water. It's crucial to have a meaningful identity before you dive into this career. The more mentally prepared you and I are about who we are or who we want to be and what we do as agents, the more success you're going to have. You need to be unapologetically passionate about what you do. So that's a wrap of this video. I hope this helps. You've got to get your head around what we do matters. It changes and saves lives. So if you want to sell mortgage protection, 
or a final expense insurance, you need to take the life exam. I recommend life only. You won't use health insurance. The health insurance is a mess, but that's a personal choice. I prefer not to be in that industry, but you can make that choice. It makes the test longer and more difficult, but you'll be able to sell life and health. Either one, you can reach out to me and I can save you 70 to 80% of the cost of getting your license. No obligation, period. Shoot me a text and we can discuss it. So as I wrap this video up, make sure again, you hit the subscribe button, mash the bell, like the video, leave me some comments. But in this series, we're going to be talking about 17 different things, all things related to mortgage protection insurance sales and whether or not it's for you. Things like what is mortgage protection, types of mortgage protection leads, good leads, bad leads, common types of mortgage protection leads, and the prospecting methods, captive agent versus independent agent, high contracts versus world-class compensation plans. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button and mash the bell so you're notified of the very next video in this series if you're looking to join us in this industry. I'll put the playlist up here and you can click on that and go through those videos. For those of you who need to make a decision and you can't wait till all 17 videos come out, let me give you some tips. Number one, when you're talking to IMO, they have to own their own direct mail house for lead generation, not just buying them from third-party lead sellers. Very important because they can't control the quality of the lead if they're buying it from somebody that's in the lead selling business. Number two, they got to have technology to run your business on no charge. No duplicated, redated, recycled leads. That requires that technology. No cap on my income if I don't want to recruit. Don't turn me into an Amway salesman if I want to go out and make $200,000 a year selling. No membership fees I have to join just for the privilege of getting promoted because I do a good job and I'm a top producer. Home office staff and support and training and then go out there and find in that IMO the best coach and mentor that can work with you case by case, day to day, in and out of the home, help you learn the skills of this business. Not from book knowledge, but because they're actually doing it and they're leading from the front. Those are the questions that you've got to ask. And don't just ask, make them show you the promotion requirement. Big warning here, make sure they don't show you just the contract rates. You can come in here and you can go here. Make sure they show you what is required to be promoted all the way up to the top contract. If anywhere in there they start drawing circles, meaning you have to recruit in order to go to the next level, warning sign. Don't go for that kind of program. There's no reason why your income should be restricted because you have to recruit people that you can't motivate to go to the next level. You want to get paid what you're worth, which is the value uh, that you bring to the IMO, which is your personal production. If you want to build, fantastic. You should get paid for that. But I want to be able to go to the top of the comp plan with no recruiting required. Something that I can control, which is me going out in the field, working appointments, and running business on my own. Hope that helps. Remember, the surest way not to fail is to be determined to succeed. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.